the Fox 32 team has already talked about our plans of what we would do with the money from the Powerball. It has reached one billion dollars. Sing it with me. Money, 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 money. Okay, I'm done. Instead of talking about the legal aspect, let's have some fun. Phil Flynn, the Fox mm -hmm. business contributor, hey. is here with me now. I like yeah. talking about money, Phil. You know, we talk about money, me I too. get excited. You know, I know you do, and I get excited, and, and I'm hearing the excitement from the studio. A billion dollars. Uh -huh. But as a financial expert, I have to say, no, don't do it. I hate to put a rain on the trade, but from a financial viewpoint, this is one of the worst investments anybody can make. Look at your odds. You put in $2, your chances of winning are what, 1 and 292.2 million barrels? Our dollars, I'm talking oil again, I should be talking dollars. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So from a financial export, don't do it. But the main reason not to do this investment right now is mainly this. I've already bought my ticket, you mm -hmm. see, and uh, this ticket is going to win. And I and I think if I can discourage more people from putting their money in the lottery, I think somehow it's got to improve my odds. Don't you think, Tia? I don't know. Now, listen, Phil, OK, I get <laughs> what you're saying about the odds and all of that, but there are people yeah. out there who get lucky and win. Here's the question. Is it better yes. to take the lump sum or go for annual payments? Actually, most people say it's better to take the lump sum. Uh, mainly because sometimes people are live it. You get better tax uh, implications if you get it all done. So taking the lump sum usually is what's recommended. But I do tell you, Tia, I think you're lucky. I think you have a chance this time. And if you pull this in, make sure you don't make the same mistakes that other lottery winners do. Because I can't tell you how many people have won these uh, big lotteries end up losing all the money in a couple of years. So the main thing is, is to don't go crazy, find a good certified financial advisor uh, and make sure that you don't spend like a drunken sailor because you might end up with, with instead of having an island in the Pacific, you know, you might end up in bankruptcy if you're not careful. Yeah, we've heard those stories before, but let's be realistic. Mm -hmm. You get that kind of money, you know, you want to splurge at least on a couple of things. Is it realistic to buy that personal jet, maybe a boat, a sports team? What should you stay away from and what is actually a good investment in terms of something to buy for yourself? You know, I think one of the things you want to do is set it up in, in investment. So instead of spending it all on one shot on a very expensive thing, make sure you want what you're paying for. And you can invest this money, and not only can it be invested in such a way where you'll have more money than you can ever spend in one lifetime, you could set up a legacy for the future long beyond, beyond you're gone. You know, uh, you know, I could see, you know, downtown Chicago and Millennium Park, you know, the, the Tia Center or something <laughs> right in the middle there. I think it would look beautiful. I They've like got the a little blank think. space. We could put that in there for the future generations. You're so. right. Story Grace Walker, my little daughter would love that. Phil Flynn, it's been a pleasure. I hope you win. And don't forget about me if you win some of that cash. I will not forget about you. All right. I got you on camera. I got you on camera. So yeah, you got to hold are. up to it. Thank you, Phil. Now